of the rising number of infections. Cabinet has approved the recruitment of more health professionals to strengthen our national response. Some development cooperation partners have also availed health workers and experts to support our response. We sincerely appreciate our medical personnel and other frontline workers who risk their lives on a daily basis to serve their fellow countrymen and women. Uh, we have so far recruited uh, various categories of human resources. 49 are in permanent positions, 224 are in temporary positions. Uh, this is part of the approval that was granted by the Office of the Prime Minister uh, to recruit an additional 2,605 human resources uh, as part of the COVID response. However, we still have a gap now, uh, given the increasing cases uh, in Erongo of about 82 uh, permanent positions of various categories, again, and about 153 of temporary positions. Um, I hasten to add, uh, Colonel President, that uh, we have also received uh, support from our development cooperation partners uh, in terms of various uh, categories of human resources who have been deployed uh, to Erongo region. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we have redeployed uh, human resources from within the ministry uh, from other regions to go and support uh, Erongo region, uh, given the fact that some of their uh, professionals have been taken up in quarantine.